Hi there. What we're going to do are just a couple of basic commands. One is the banner message of the day, and another one is the copy command. So, to do the banner message of the day, all you need to do is be in the console of a router switch, type the word enable, get into privileged mode, and configure terminal, and type in the command banner message of the day MOTD now the character what you have to do is specify a character to end the command to let it know when you're done typing your message so I'm going to use Z hit enter command prompt comes back to a blinking cursor and anything you type will be used as the message of the day I'm going to go to caps lock and I'm going to type you do not have permission to be here. This router eats hackers for lunch. Z. Enter. And that's it. It's back at the uh, configuration hash, letting you know you're in global config mode. Now to see the banner, you can see that when you try to log in, so you have to exit out and then go back in. Exit, exit, enter. You do not have permission to be here, etc. And that's about it. Next is the copy command. Um, there are a couple of types of memory. There's volatile and non-volatile memory. And we're going to be dealing with something known as the running configuration file and the startup configuration file. Now the running configuration file is what runs in RAM while the router switch is live. And the startup configuration file is what is stored in non-volatile RAM. Say you're uh, in the middle of configuring a switch, a router, configuring away for hours or a day or two. And if you lose power or inadvertently hit the switch, you will lose your configuration unless it is saved to non-volatile RAM. So let's just take a look at what's going on here. You need to be in privileged mode to look at... Uh, the running config. So you type show running config and there is the configuration file. Now if we take a look at show startup config, what do you think we'll get? We haven't saved one yet so it says non-volatile configuration memory is not present. Okay, it means there's no file there. So what we do is we copy the currently running config into startup config. And you do that by typing copy running config to the startup config. And it says building configuration OK. Now if we check by looking at show startup config and the short version of this is show start short way to copy it is to copy run start the abbreviations are understood by the command line interface interpreter but show startup config does indeed have something in there now if you decide that you'd like to reconfigure the router or switch from scratch, you can erase the startup configuration and reload the router. And this will enable you to completely delete all the configurations you made so that you can start from scratch again. And type the command that will delete the configuration file in NVRAM, and when prompted, you will confirm that you wish to do the deletion. And this is the command. You go erase startup config or erase start. Confirm. Yes. Erase of NVRAM complete. Show start. Non-volatile configuration is not present. Okay, let's try a reload. 
wait a minute, let's show, uh, let's go into conf t, and let's set a host name of router1. Okay, see how we've got router1? Exit, show, run. Now you see the host name here is router1. And we've just deleted the uh, startup config. So if we reload, what do you think will happen? We should lose the host name of router1. Reload. Would you like to save? No. Okay, so that's a reload. And you notice how at the prompt the router name is just router now. It's enable. Go to show run. And there is no host name there. If you want to, to re-verify, you can uh, enter conf t host name. Oops. Host name Steve. Show start. Erase start. Confirm. Show start. Show run. There is nothing in start, but there is something in the running config. And that's about that. Thank you.